donkey didn't want to play with me. It's about 10 a.m. Hot. So uh, I just finished this uh, fishing this little creek over here, a little creek slash pond. Um, so I'm going to go into detail here at the end of this video. Um, and show you kind of how I found this pond and you can do this anywhere so this is going to be something to help everybody out to kind of find I mean this helps people that fish from a boat people that fish from the bank everybody kayakers all the, all you guys it's just uh, some little tips on Google Earth and uh, Google Ma Maps on uh, how to find and uh, how to check these ponds out you can you can look at different years you can see that you know the different water levels different times of the year how the vegetation looks you can see it you can you can learn a lot of stuff about a pond or a lake or a creek or a river from checking this out so I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video right now I got to go to work uh, I caught at least one fish in all the little in the, in all three of these little ponds these these are these ponds are tiny little things there it's a little creek that runs through here it goes into uh, I, think, I think I think this creek runs into Marine Creek into uh, in the Marine Creek Lake and uh, this is just a little that's a little neighborhood area um, didn't really look like it, it was heavily fish you know, there's a ton of like trees and, and just tall grass and stuff around the whole thing so it looked like it'd be pretty fishy but I didn't have to I didn't have too great a luck uh, oh, there's my alarm so I gotta get going I'll uh, see you guys later That there.
tiny little bluegill. He made it. There better be some bass in here. I'm going to be upset. Y'all see that? Just let it hang in that tree. That little guy. Well, it finally worked. Bam! Dude, chill. No. You made it. <laughs> oh, maybe that one. Yeah. No. A baby. Oh, it's a cute little guy. This looks gonna destroy him. Oh, little dude. See you later. <laughs> Another baby. Oh. I barely had him. I don't even know if he was really hooked. The hook was in his mouth. Oh, he's good. Freaking catfish. I don't want a catfish. Alright, bro. I hate catfish. Hate him, hate him, hate him. Well, let go, dude. Maybe we got one. Probably the best fish I've caught. It's been in the smallest spawn. There's a bunch of little guys in here, man. Bunch of little guys. Pretty. What's going on, guys? So here's a little tip that I was gonna that I was gonna show you. Um, you can do it with Google Maps, kinda to a certain point extent. Um, 
but it's kind of you just this is what everybody does they drive around and and they find a little area they find a little pond sorry about the shakiness i'm sitting here shaking the desk you just drive by a little pond and you're like hey look there's a, there's a little body of waters and uh, you go home and you google it or whatever and you pull up google maps or whatever map app you like to use and you kind of just check it out see how it looks but with with uh, google earth so you can go one step further and uh actually go through and see what this pond looked like years gone by so i'll pop this up right here and uh I'll kind of show you. See this little button right here, the little hourglass, a little, or it's actually a clock with a arrow going backwards. Um, you can kind of just shift through here. See what this, see what it looked like in 2014. See what it looked like in 2012. See what it looked like in 2008. You can even click on the little sun, and you can just show what it looked like when it's dark. I, I don't know how much that's really going to help you, but hey, you can do it. Um, there's some other little tools on here. You can, you know, mark apps. You can drop little pins, like I did the, on this one right here. That way, you can kind of keep track of all your ponds and stuff. Uh, you can use the ruler. Um, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Um, Google Earth is, is a super useful tool, especially for, you know, somebody that's trying to find ponds. Um, you can use this on lakes a lot because a lot of times water levels fluctuate a ton, so you can kind of see what the water, what you know, what you can kind of. What I'm trying to say is, so you can see like the you know the banks and like where the where the low spots, high spots, whatever you know you can see structure. Whenever the water level was really low, you can kind of see what's under the water now, or if the water's low now, you can see what it looks like when it's high. Whatever, there's tons of stuff you can do. It's pretty cool. It's a useful little tool. Um, but anyway, guys, I know this video was super long. Um, thanks for watching. I am super tired. I have a ton of stuff I got to do in the morning. Um, I got to get to the bed. I will, uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, all that cool stuff. We'll see you guys later.